Okay guys, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I'm scratching my neck because I'm nervous. Uh, so, okay, old Unitana's video that I saw, I literally just came up with the idea, uh, I didn't come up with the idea for drinking eggnog, uh, just now, but I did just come up with the final idea of what I'm going to do with the eggnog. Uh, that makes it sound a lot worse. Don't worry about it. Here's the thing, I was going on Amazon, looking for groceries, as you do, and I found that apparently they make almond-based alternatives to eggnog. I mean, I do have my regular good old classic hood eggnog, which I've never had before, so we're going to be trying this out just because I've never had it, and it's called Golden Eggnog. It's ultra pasteurized. It's limited edition. Let me do a good zoom. Zoom on that. Limited edition pasteurization. So we got this. We've got Califia, which is, uh, this is the, uh, this is the brand that I used for my cold brew. So, like, when I get cold brew, I get this brand. I... Mm. It's an almond-based eggnog. Here's the thing, I thought I got almond soy and soy, but turns out I just got two almond eggnogs. I now also have generic 365 Whole Foods brand almond eggnog, which it can't taste good. It's also more calories than the big brand. So, what we're going to do is we're going to organize these. You can see one is not like the other. Uh, and we're going to do a shot of each of these. I'm going to tell you which one I think is best. No, I'm going to rank them in order of which one I think is best. And then the one that is best, you know, I'm not gonna show you. The one that is best gets a special surprise at the end. So be sure to stick, stick around, stick tuned to your screen until the end because, ugh, because yeah, we're gonna start, we're gonna start off easy mode. We're gonna start off easy mode. We're going to go with the regular hood classic eggnog can't go wrong with a classic eggnog wait was i supposed to shake this it's good till january am i supposed to shake this does this say anywhere to shake this do i shake you do i shake you like me when i was a baby no oh it's got recipes for eggnog cake and eggnog glaze oh it does say it does say shake well very small it says shake well very small right at the edge i'm gonna show that to you guys I am going to try not to spill this. It does say shake well, so okay. Maybe that's why it doesn't smell like that bubblegummy sort of eggnog smell that I usually get off of most. There's something, there's something not okay with this. I don't know what it is. I, I'm trying to find a better way. There's, there's no way not to make this look bad, you know. Nope, that's bad. That's, that, that may have just been worse, actually. That may have honestly been an even worse way to shake the nog. That has to be good, right? That has to be good. Oof, I got my hair all fluttered all in front of my face. Also, I've realized through editing these videos, I've got a big-ass five head. That's fun. Well, it is called Golden Eggnog. It is a lot more yellow than I remember most eggnog that I typically have being. This is very yellow eggnog. Uh, I should probably get them all poured out. I'm just gonna organize them based, I'm gonna organize the shots based on where they are in this lineup right now. Eggnog shake well. Very different colors. You may not be able to see it super well from where you guys are, but from my perspective, from my perspective, Obi-Wan, it's very different colors. Just trying to get everything scooched so that everything's in a, in a more aesthetically pleasing position. That's one. If you ever want to work out, just shake some eggnog. All right, do I need to shake that one? I probably don't. I might not need to. I don't know, it's... <sighs> this one's gonna be a lot harder to pour. That one's a lot more watery. Shouldn't have, t shouldn't have licked that. Don't worry, I didn't get much taste. It does vaguely taste of eggnog, the tiny drop that I have. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna do this in order. Nobody's confused, right? All right, we're gonna do this left to right. The shots are in order of the uh, drinks. All right, we're gonna start with the hood eggnog because it, it's golden eggnog, so maybe that's different, but I have to assume it's the same, right? Certainly not the best eggnog I've had. No complaints though. Almond eggnog. I don't know what this is gonna taste like. 
We're starting with the generic brand. I don't know why. I guess I hate myself. We're doing the less watery one. This actually looks, ironically, this looks more like eggnog that I've had than the golden one. So we're just gonna give it a shot. A literal a shot. Uh. Oh, what? Oh, I would, I almost want to say it's like cinnamon water, but that's basically horchata. And I love horchata. Right now it's in dead last. And as we go, we'll order them. It'll be rank number one, two, three. Right now, that's rank number, that's rank number two. So that's not, ugh. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Oh my god. I hate that I have to say this, but I have to I have to try these two again. Back to back. I gotta try them again. Oh no. Why did I choose to do this to myself? Why? I didn't have to do this. This this was this wasn't required of me. Nobody asked for this. This isn't this isn't my responsibility, but it's now my burden. This is now my burden. I've got a belly and it's gonna be full of eggnog. And there's two options that I can do for my special surprise at the end. And I don't know, one will be much better for content, the other one will be much better for my soul. One of these is worse, and I don't know which one it is. You tried ordering it from, actually I gotta do this one again. It's thicker, it stays on your palate longer, it... it you get hit with just like, cardboard and then cinnamon. It's like... It's like they couldn't figure out the flavor for eggnog, and they're just like, well, we can't put an egg in it, so what if we just, what if we just made it cinnamon? I shook the fuck out of this thing. I didn't shake the fuck out of this one so much, but I shook the fuck out of this one. I shook the fuck out of this one almost as much as I shook the fuck out of this one. I wasn't, I was thinking, oh, it's some, like, limited edition eggnog that I've never heard of. Hood eggnog. Who's heard of, who's heard of, who, 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 who's heard of hood eggnog? I don't know. This is... This is the best eggnog, though, right now, from what I've had. Ugh. Right, I gotta try them back to back. Oh, God, what is this? And this one's just watery. It's... I say that eggnog is bubblegum-ish flavor. This one is like... It's water, and then it's bubblegum, and then it's wood. I to, it's like... Not even wood, it's plants. Which I get it, it's almond milk, but... Do I go for... It has less flavor. It has less flavor. But this, I think, has a... No, actually, you know what? The more I drink them, this one grows on me. I like the cold brew coffee, but this is awful. This is terrible. And I hate what I'm about to do to myself because I've decided to go for the better content-wise option. I need, a, I need a paper towel real quick. I need to lay a paper towel down on the table because I need some way to prove that I've done what needs to be done. Number one, number two, number three. This is the worst. And this is where the part about me hating myself comes in. This is a full-sized stein. My grandfather left me this. My grandfather also left me the shot glasses, but my grandfather left me this 1975 Playboy Bunny Beer Stein. Gross. But also, and I think you guys know where I'm going with this, and I'm not happy about it. Why? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why? Why am I doing this? Uh, you guys remember the Pyramid of Nog? I'm just skipping straight to the end, baby. Oh, it's so watery, too. Like, my sister always... My sister's always grossed out because uh, I'm a kind of I'm the kind of guy who chugs basically any beverage I have. I'm just I'm a chugging man. It's why I don't it's why I don't love a hot coffee. I don't love like a hot steamy pipe and hot tea. Although I do like those things. They're they're actually all right. But the fact is that I chug most of the things that I drink. I, I drink them very fast. It's honestly not probably a good thing. So, my sister, if, Melly, if you're about to watch this, and you're about to see me chug eggnog, don't worry. This is basically water. And I'm not talking about flavor-wise, no. 
it, it flavor wise it's shit but texture wise it's water and i'm scared <laughs> i don't want to do this but i want views uh, i don't want to do this it it looks mm, it looks like it's settling and i don't like that i don't like how watery it looks I prefer my eggnog to be a lot thicker with like 10 C's. What if I put xanthan gum in this? Let's not, we'll worry about xanthan gum in a, in a different episode. Yeah, it's one of the, it, okay. It's one of the things that makes thick water thick. Like one of the main things that makes thick water thick. It's a very important ingredient in Greg Doucette's anabolic ice cream. And I assume it would make this thick, which would make it worse for me. So I'm going to pretend I never said that. And so is everybody else who's watching this. I'm going to chug this whole stein full of eggnog. I hate myself. Y'all better fucking like and subscribe for this shit. Wow. <sighs> I don't think I don't think eggnog should send a shiver down your spine, but. Ugh. Anyways, that's the entire video. You guys have fun. Uh, I've got some other videos that are going to pop up at the end of this thing. So, yeah, you enjoy yourselves.